Welcome to The Life of Hair. My name is James Atkinson and thank you for joining me on this video. Today is one of my favourite haircuts. It's the Vidal Sassoon Shag or otherwise known as a long graduation. I've done this haircut before on my channel in a totally different way. So I wanted to show you a different adaptation. It incorporates a fantastic shaggy fringe with lots and lots of shape around the front. So I won't talk about it anymore. You can watch the tutorial, but I absolutely love it. It is a commercial. I absolutely love it. It's a commercial winner in my book. I cut this haircut lots and lots and lots in the salon. And once you get it, it is one of those haircuts you wonder how you lived without. And if you enjoyed this, then don't forget, don't forget, smash that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the videos to get out there and leave a comment. This particular video is a requested video that from a few months back, and I've got loads and loads of others. And I promise you, if you're waiting for that request, I will make it. There is no doubt about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week for another episode of The Life of Hair. The pre-section for this technique is incredibly simple. You simply section off from the highest point of the head down to the top of the ear on both sides and brush the hair forwards and backwards. We then take a triangle section from the front hairline to the edge of the recession. This will form the basis of the length at the front. Cut this to the desired length that you want the shortest part of this haircut to be. Pull the hair straight out from the head and cut a square line. This section is very important that you elevate it straight out from the head. Check for length and then take a subsequent section in exactly the same 45 degree angle behind the first section, elevating the hair straight out from the head, cutting a square line. Keep taking sections as you travel back towards the crown area, 45 degrees, and pulling the hair straight out from the head. Holding the hair horizontally out from the head like this will create extra softness around the front. As we get to the sides, we are elevating the hair up to the fringe line. This will ensure that we retain as much of the length in the sides as possible. You'll see from this side angle how much we are elevating the hair straight out from the head shape. And you'll also be able to see how much we have over-directed and elevated the sides to run in line with the fringe. It is very, very important that when you pick the hair up from around the ear area, the hair that I have in my hand now, that you elevate and twist it to horizontal. As you can see, it's created a graduated shape running down towards the neckline. Do exactly the same thing on the opposite side taking 45 degree diagonal sections, elevating the hair straight out from the head, cutting a square line. You can see the emphasis on twisting the hair around here. 
is, is this is paramount to getting the technique right. Always check that you have got consistently the same length on both sides and if you are slightly off then go back to your previous section and adjust as necessary. Cross check your work by taking a 1 to 1.5 cm centre parting section down the middle and elevating the hair straight out from the head. If you have a 45 degree angle that is shorter at the face and longer as you travel towards the crown, you are bang on the money. Once you're satisfied with your cross check, then simply part the hair down the centre back to create two subsections. This we are going to connect in to the front of our haircut. Once we have split those sections into two, we simply take vertical sections straight down the head and over direct them to the front hairline. From this side view you can see we are using exactly the same technique as we did on the front. Pulling our sections straight out from the head elevating the hair horizontally and cutting a square line and around this ears we are and around the ears we are elevating the hair and twisting the hair so that we are creating more over direction this will retain more length in the sides Repeat exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Very, very simple, simple haircut to execute. The elevation is very important and the twisting of the sides is also very important. If you want to retain all the length as you travel towards the back, you must make sure that you twist and elevate your side sections to retain that length. And that is the shag haircut complete. I absolutely love this on wavy hair. As you can see, I've styled it here with a side fringe. You could do a center fringe with a split in it, but it is a very, very contemporary, easy to wear haircut. It can be worn straight or curly. It gives beautiful texture and volume and it's perfect for those clients that haven't got really curly hair nor have they got straight hair and they want something that they can just put some sea salt spray in or some curl hold cream and wash and wear i hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you have i'd love to chat to you in the comments down below have a wonderful week and i will see you next time for another episode of the life of hair <laughs>